The Ballad of the White Horse by G. K. Chesterton is an epic poem that tells the tale of King Alfred the Great's struggle against the invading Danes. This work is steeped in rich, lyrical language and serves as both a historical narrative and a meditation on themes of faith, heroism, and the clash of civilizations. Through its vivid imagery and profound philosophical reflections, the poem transcends its historical setting to offer timeless insights. At its core, the poem is about the resilience and tenacity of the human spirit in the face of overwhelming odds. King Alfred, depicted not only as a warrior but as a man of deep faith and humility, embodies the struggle of a Christian kingdom under siege. His character is marked by a blend of idealism and realism, illustrating Chesterton's belief in the power of moral and spiritual conviction. Alfred's journey is not just a physical battle against the Danes, but also a spiritual odyssey, reflecting the inner struggles of maintaining faith and hope in the darkest of times. The poem opens with a sense of foreboding as the Danes, led by the fearsome Guthrum, threaten to overwhelm Wessex. Chesterton vividly describes the chaos and despair of the English people, contrasting it with the grim determination of Alfred. This juxtaposition highlights the themes of despair and hope, a recurrent motif throughout the poem. The white horse, a symbol of ancient British heritage carved into the hillside, serves as a potent emblem of enduring tradition and identity amidst the turmoil. Chesterton's narrative style, rich with allegory and symbolism, invites readers to delve deeper into the underlying messages. The poem is not just a historical recount but a commentary on the cyclical nature of history and the eternal struggle between good and evil. The battles fought by Alfred are depicted not merely as physical conflicts but as metaphysical ones, with the Danes representing chaos and paganism, while Alfred and his followers embody order and Christian values. This dichotomy serves to explore the broader theme of civilization versus barbarism. The poem structure, divided into eight books, allows for a gradual unfolding of Alfred's character and his strategic genius. Chesterton intersperses moments of intense action with reflective passages, where Alfred contemplates the divine purpose behind his struggles. These moments of introspection provide a philosophical depth to the narrative, making it as much a meditation on the nature of leadership and sacrifice as it is an epic tale of war. Alfred's reliance on divine guidance underscores Chesterton's message about the importance of faith in providing strength and direction. One of the most compelling aspects of the poem is its portrayal of community and fellowship. The various characters who join Alfred in his fight, from the common soldiers to the noblewomen, represent a cross-section of society united by a common cause. Their loyalty and courage exemplify the communal spirit that Chesterton champions. This unity in the face of adversity reinforces the idea that true strength lies not in individual heroics but in collective effort and shared purpose. Chesterton's use of language is particularly noteworthy. His command of rhythm and rhyme, coupled with his ability to paint vivid scenes, brings the historical period to life while also imbuing it with a timeless quality. The dialogue, especially Alfred's speeches, is crafted with a poetic elegance that conveys both the gravity of the situation and the nobility of the character's resolve. In conclusion, The Ballad of the White Horse is a masterful blend of history, legend, and philosophy. Chesterton's portrayal of King Alfred is not only a tribute to a historical figure but also a reflection on the enduring values of courage, faith, and unity. Through its rich narrative and profound insights, the poem offers a powerful commentary on the human condition and the eternal struggle to uphold what is right in the face of formidable challenges.